Pilots, Drain Man here, and today I have a very, very exciting video. In today's video, we are going to try out one of the hottest, newest, sickest features of Betaflight 4.5 in the new 10.10 .10 configurator. If you don't have this, I just recently dropped a video showing you how to download and install 10.10 .10 and how to take your quadcopter and update the firmware to 4.5. And it is <laughs> amazing. It flies incredible and the features are just through the roof. Me personally, I'm putting it on all of my quadcopters and I have not been let down yet. I've been absolutely impressed at the way that they're flying. But to Today, what we're here for in this video is to go over one of the hottest, newest features in my personal opinion, and that is easy landing. If you have not heard of it, now you are. If you have heard of it and you're more curious about it, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about it, and then we're going to take it out to the field and we're going to look at the difference of what it does to our quadcopter, how it reacts, how it flies, and does it even work? So the first thing to understand is air mode. So air Air mode is when your stick of your throttle is at 0%, your pit controller is still active and still making corrections. So if you don't know what the pit controller is, the pit controller is a algorithm which is responsible for reacting to your stick inputs. So that means when I do something, the PID controller is reacting to that. Or let's just say uh, outside forces like wind blows on my quadcopter, the PID controller is responsible to make corrections to that. And if it didn't exist, these things would just fly like a hot mess. So they use the gyroscope or accelerometer depending on your flight mode. There are some horrible, horrible downfalls with air mode. And the main one is when you're landing or trying to perch. You you know you jump up on something cool and you boop, you do a little land or you're you're on the ground you're about to take off and the quad is going blah, 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 blah. and that is your throttle stick is at zero because you're landing or perching and the pit controller is active making corrections because that's what we want when we're in the air and we're flying right because as FPV pilots if you were to do a proper roll okay you would hop up in the air you would drop your throttle to zero and you would snap your roll stick and your quadcopter would perform the roll then you would reintroduce throttle and the reason why is because if you had throttle up during that roll you wouldn't do a nice clean roll like this you would do more of a zhoosh roll and that's because your throttle is spinning your propellers adding an upward thrust while you're turning so you would get more of like a a loop rather than a roll that is what happens and when you drop that throttle your pit controller deactivates because there's no throttle so the air mode contradicts that and keeps your pit controller active but in return we get the downfall of well bouncing all over the place. I want to perch and I get up on there I'm like or I get knocked off or I'm trying to perch and I bump it just a little bit and the pit controller makes corrections and freaks out. You can go into beta flight and you can go to your configuration. You can turn off air mode permanently and then you can head over to your modes where you set up this your switches just like any other switch turtle mode uh arming whatever and you can actually put air mode on a switch and that allows you if you want to spend the time remembering like oh okay i'm gonna land i'm gonna perch flip a switch turn off air mode well hey then you're in great shape and you don't need easy landing because easy landing is going to fix all of that it is going to naturally turn air mode on and off for you so air mode off now we're going to come over now our flight characteristics are going to be great our concern is more like free fall so we're going to head up and throttle down. See the quad? Look at that. It's all over the place. You see that? Let me show you again. Throttle up. Ready? Throttle down. I'm not touching the sticks. Look at the quad all over the place. Okay? That's air mode off. 
When throttles down, roll. Oh, it's so sloppy. Sloppy, sloppy. Throttle down, sloppy. That's air mode off. Let's do one more. Ready? Air mode off. Oh my god, we're like upside down all over the place. Let's do a nose dive. Ready? Throttle down. Air mode. Look at this. Oh my god, head first. Oh shoot. Totally lost control, okay? Now with air mode off, we're gonna land. Watch this. Look at that. I'm not disarmed or nothing. Wow, that was nice. Okay. Now we're gonna go air mode on. Watch my fingers. Oh, I bounced the ground. Didn't even go all crazy. Ready? Air mode on. Now I've got air mode on. Now let's simulate a fall. Look at that. Locked. I am locked. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Oh, it just feels so much better already. Oh, I could just have some fun. Gosh, yes. Air mode is fantastic. Okay, feels good. I'll show you one more. Ready? Locked. Ready? I'm released. I'm released. I'm grabbing. Okay. Air mode is locked. Now let's demonstrate the difference. Ready? Look at this. Oh, it's freaking out. Air mode means bouncy, bouncy. Let's see, what do we got here? So with 4.5, we have easy landing. Erase everything I just explained to you because it doesn't matter. You turn on easy landing and I'll show you the CLI command. It is not a button yet. It is not a switch yet. It is a command only and I'll put that command down in the video description so you can enter it into the CLI, type save, hit enter, and you will then now have easy landing, which means the idea behind it is if your sticks are centered, okay, and your throttle is down at zero, see I'm centered and at zero, the quadcopter is probably landing, okay, or probably perching, and easy landing will kick off air mode so that you can do what you got to do without getting pushed all around. Now, the downfall to this easy landing is if I am in a free fall, right? I shoot up to the sky, I'm on a free fall down, I am probably centered, I am probably at zero throttle, and I'm probably gonna lose air mode. So you got to trick the quadcopter a little bit or play with the parameters. You do get two parameters in the new 4.5 easy landing, and those are the easy landing limit, which is a range between zero to 75, which is gonna allow the maximum percentage of throttle increase via air mode with the stick centered and throttle at zero. The higher values provide a bit more stability when perching or in flat drops. Lower values are gonna make landings less bouncy. But you have a second parameter, and that is easy easy landing threshold, and that is a default of 25, range of 0 to 200, percentage stick deflection at which air mode is given full authority to adjust the throttle with linear attenuation towards the center. Now, I've also noticed inside of the CLI command under easy landing, you've got your legacy, which is going to be regular, easy landing off, and then you've got easy landing, easy landing, which is it's on, but you also have a linear option as well. So if you want to play with that, feel free to do that. I also want to show you how to check that it's on. So for example, I turn it on. I'm unsure if it's on. You can jump into the CLI, type in diff, press enter, and it's going to show you all of the different values that you've changed, values, parameters, anything like that. And if you scan here, you can see that easy landing is the setting in which the mixer type is. Because if it was in legacy, that would mean it's off. Okay, easy landing on, default parameters. I no longer have air mode on a switch. Air mode is now permanently enabled. We're going to arm. And let's see how the quad reacts to a free fall. So we're gonna head up and I'm gonna drop. Oh, wow, look at that, locked in. Oh crap, okay, you saw that? Oh, 
I saw easy landing kick in. Tell me if you saw that. Let's go a little higher. Oh, I'm running out of battery. Okay, you ready? Locked in. And then easy landing right there. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. Oh. Easy landing is working. So at that point, you want to either add a little bit of throttle or a little bit of stick to tell your flight controller you are not trying to perch. Right? So if I want to come in for a perch, I'm going to lower my throttle. Sticks are centered. And I'm going to land. Wow. <laughs> God, that was nice. Okay, so it clearly works, but when you don't want it, you need to let it know that you don't want it. That's all. And overall, 4.5 is just incredible, man. Look at this. I just feel so locked in. God. All right, let's do a quick, quick little perch. Oh my God, it's amazing. Oh my God, easy landing. Now, also, pods, keep in mind, there are parameters. We are just on the defaults. So this is nice. Oh, it's so nice. Butta. But you saw what happened, right? We told the quad, just like when we came in for that perch, the easy landing deactivates. Ready? There it is. Ah, shit. Oh, my God, I almost went down. All right, here we go. Let's come in for a landing. Easy landing activated. And be, I mean, come on. Come on. There ain't nowhere else you're going to do. It. Oh, my God. All right, pilots, that is going to do it for the easy landing of Beta Flight 4.5. How cool. We got to learn about air mode. What is it? We got to see what it looks like in a free fall on versus off. We got to put on easy landing, how to set it up in the CLI and what it acts like out in the field, whether we're doing a perch or a free fall or coming in for a landing. So it's just very exciting stuff. And Beta Flight 4.5 is better than ever and there are more features than ever so if there are any new features that you would love to check out jump in the comments and let me know i hope that you guys had as much fun as i did and i will see you on the next one